Here at this privately owned wildlife park in South Africa, the staff are using a unique method to try and inspire the public to care more about animals. Or Lazmi has managed to integrate herself with not one, but four lions. She's known these animals since they were cubs, and she's so confident they'll be well behaved that at this park, they'll even allow people into the enclosure with them. This is bonkers. It's a controversial setup, even though there's always other members of her team keeping watch. Hi. But I'm intrigued to know how this relationship works and what she does to keep her lions in check. These lions are just 17 months old, but they are big enough to do some serious damage if they choose to. Obviously, if I was in here without you... That would be a totally different story. That's why it is important to us to remember they are wild animals so their instincts can stay there. When they're younger, we take them on walks around the park and... Female. That's Judith. We have a very strong bond with uh, this group. How is it possible that you can have such a close relationship with essentially wild animals? Well, we respect them as wild animals to start off with. I think that's one of the key points. Mm -hmm. um, we don't train them, we don't do anything like that. So you basically need to earn their trust mm -hmm. and the respect. They've known me as a constant dominant figure in their life since they were babies, and that's why I'm able to go so up close to them now. Okay, so you're mentioning a dominant figure, yeah. which means that hierarchy is at play here, understanding how these animals would normally behave in the wild. Yeah. So where are you in the pecking order, and how do you establish that with lions, albeit in captivity? I think it's just because we've been there since they were babies. Uh huh. And I've always been the grown-up, so what I'm stronger in their eyes, I think. Yeah. And obviously they needed to have a figure that would put them back in place, and they are put back in place when they misbehave. How do you learn how to do that? How did you...? Just from interacting with them. Over time, you learn their behavior. You learn to read their looks and mood swings and their different personalities. Orr has clearly grown attached to these lions, but if things go according to plan, she won't have this relationship with them forever. The staff at the park are planning a very ambitious and untested project to do something that most people would consider impossible. They want to release these hand-reared lions into the wild when they're older. I was under the impression that if any individuals are for release, that you must have absolutely no contact with them. That's what we're hoping to prove wrong because you have right now in South Africa more lions in captivity than in the wild. Yeah. So if we can take the animals from this situation and prove that you can turn them wild again, then we can be saving quite a few of them. We believe it's possible and we believe our intimate uh, knowledge of these ones will help us achieve that goal. And hopefully they'll be our first ambassadors. They're amazing animals, they really are. They're perfect. perfect.